All right, now we're gonna walk through how to make a policy in JSS. So we'll just go and log it. Once we're logged in, we'll go to the Computers tab and then the Policies tab. And we'll click New Policy. And then we'll put a name for our policy in the Name field. And since we're gonna make this policy for Photoshop, we'll give it that name. And we're also gonna make it a self-service policy, so we're not gonna have it um, automate on any of the check-ins for a trigger. And then we'll go to Packages and we'll specify our disk image of Creative Cloud. And we'll also copy the name of that disk image because we'll need that for our, our uh, task sequence later on. And we're gonna cache that because Adobe installs need to be cached to the local disk before they're run. And then we'll go to the Scripts tab and we will put the install package from disk image, which will open the disk image after it's been safely delivered and then run the package inside of it. So we will make a disk image there as parameter four, which is the part of the shell script that tells it to open that and then run the contents. And we don't need anything else configured. And uh, for this example, we'll scope it to just one computer specifically. So I'll just search for my computer name and then we'll select that computer name out of the list of computers. And then we'll scroll down and we'll click Done. And uh, we'll just make sure that nothing else is uh, configured for that. And then in self-service, we'll say we want to make it available. We'll give it a description that the uh, end user will have to view. And uh, we'll also we'll also uh, set this so that it has a nice icon so that it kind of gives it a more branded and, and polished look in the uh, self-service, kind of like an app store. And we'll also feature the policy on the main page so users see it the first thing on the page when they open up self-service. We could put messages in here for if we're doing automation, but we're not gonna be doing that. And then we'll just double check everything and give it a category of Creative Suite. And we should be good to go. So now the policy will show up for end users in self-service.